Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahal, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We've got a fun driver test today. This is one that uh, I think we have a lot of viewers asking for, and with good reason. Uh, it's the G425 Max, kind of comparing it to the sort of the clubs that created it, right? The G400 Max and the G410 Plus. So going back a couple of driver generations from Ping, uh, this is all about forgiveness, right? This is a you know, a test of some extremely forgiving drivers from Ping, and of course the latest being G425. So Thomas, I know you've tested all three of them before, most recently G425 Max. Um, what do you think we'll find here today? Yeah, so going back to G400 Max, that is a, was a very, very extremely high forgiving club. It still is, but they've combined G410 Plus with G400 Max to create the new G425 Max. Mm -hmm. So pushing that 10,000 MOI limit there. So one thing I've noticed with G400 Max is it usually flies a little bit higher and spins just kind of a little bit more. And that's comparing the same lofts. And we'll probably see that today as we're testing uh, the heads against each other there too. And then G410 Plus, just a little bit, kind of a little bit lower, a little bit less spin. And then a G425 Max, probably expect it to be a kind of combination of kind of both forgiving, but keep that, keeping that spin mm -hmm. right down. Yeah, and I think, you know, they kind of, they are, you know, G425 Max is a combination of both. I think we get extreme high, you know, MOI, right, from the Max, but then they added also that sliding weight technology, uh, adjustable with the, the fade and the draw bias possible with G425 Max. I mean, we won't mess with that during this test today, but that is the benefit as well of G410 Plus and G425 Max. So, um, you know, for the test, we'll hit shots with each model, we'll kind of break down some of the numbers and discuss what we find. So Thomas looks like he got a golf shaft in hand. Uh, how are we going to do this test? What's the format, the specs, all that good stuff? I actually have two golf shafts in my hand, but the exact same golf shaft. So okay. the thing with G400 was it was a different tip adapter. Mm -hmm. And G410 and uh, G425, the tip adapter is different with that eight lobe, essentially you can, yep. have, so you can have those flat settings. But I've got the exact same golf shaft. It's the Ping Tour 65S. Both lengths are going to be the exact same. The playing length is going to be 45 and a quarter, which is standard length for the Ping Tour golf shafts, uh, which is actually a little bit shorter than what I usually kind of play with my, my drive length. I'm usually like between 45 and a half and 45 and three quarters. But Ping Tour, you know, these are for your higher swing play, speed players. Try to hit it straight. In mm -hmm. the day, trying to make sure you kind of hit it straight. A little bit shorter shaft may not generate as much club speed as you may see sometimes but it's important to hit the middle of the club face. Yep, so. yep, and I know for these tests, you like to keep that club speed as consistent as possible. So I'm um, looking forward to that and looking forward to seeing what uh, Ping's driver technology and how it's progressed over the last few generations. So um, before we get started, a reminder to all of our viewers out there to uh, give us this video a like and subscribe to our channel as well for all of these in-depth reviews and comparisons and all the insight from Thomas as well. Uh, we've got a lot more coming and we love putting it together. So uh, Thomas, you ready to hit some shots? Let's hit some shots. Oh yeah. That one, the spin rate stayed down on a mm -hmm. little bit, but the other ones were, were pretty high. Yeah, I think that was the, you had a couple right away, uh, maybe your first two, three shots that had kind of higher spin and higher launch to them than maybe, I don't know for sure that you're used to, but then as we kind of went along with the last couple shots, that spin did come down a little bit. Uh, this last one under 2000, carried it nearly 300 yards, but uh, before getting into that, I just wanted to ask about the appearance and address because um, in my recollection from you know G30 to G to G400 and all the way to G425, my recollection is G400 is kind of the most pronounced in terms of the turbulators and the design on the club head. How did, do you, I mean, do you agree with that? Yeah, you definitely see more lines, more turbulated lines with the G400 Max. You talk about that appearance, it's really evident that you can see at a dress that everything's kind of pushed back. You mm -hmm. can see how the weights all pushed kind of back to really kind of increase the MOI on, on the driver there too. So looking at it, it looks larger at a dress, knowing it's still 460 cc's, but it just seems the way it's shaped is not as compact as a smaller, lower spinning head would be. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so now we've got these numbers up here a little bit. Um, first of all, hey, one five zero for each 
pretty, shot. Pretty right. solid. Pretty solid. So now you can see how that spin here fluctuated a little bit from essentially 3,200 to 1,800. Yep. You had a couple, so a couple really had 2,800 or higher, then you had you know mid 2000s, and then one at 1,800. So, um, but I will say, I mean, that is a high, you know, relatively to comparing to what you usually hit and um, what most high speed players hit. That is a high launch, high spin driver in comparison. So you should see some high spin numbers there, uh, you know, by comparison. Yeah, these are all nine degree settings that we've got the driver on. Uh, one thing I noticed, talk about the high launch, was the, was the actual height of the shot. Mm -hmm. We noticed, I think the lowest height that I hit a driver was in the 120 mark. Yep. So I think the last one was 125, I hit it at 120, yeah. So that was the lowest in height. So if I'm able to keep that spin rate down, like that last shot I hit, it's great. But if you take a look at, for example, shot two there, when the height was 167 feet in the air and that spin rate kind of goes up, you'll mm -hmm. notice I sacrificed quite a bit of distance there yeah. with regards to height. So it's a little bit higher spinning than the others, and some players need that. They need that because it helps with forgiveness, mm -hmm. helps it a little, little bit straighter there too. But because everything's kind of pushed back, it's going to be probably the most, it's probably going to be the highest spinning model of the three drivers we yes. today. Yes, that's that's I think the note you you made about the fact that some golfers need that extra spin. Yeah, that's that's a that's what the G four hundred Max is geared for. Somebody that does spin the ball low or launch the ball really low, wants more height. The G four hundred Max is going to do that for you. As you saw with your shots, you like to like you like to keep it around one hundred to one hundred and ten feet in the air. Is what you always say. You had the average of one forty one, and your lowest shots were one hundred and twenty. So uh, certainly a high launch and a high ball flight driver. The G four hundred Max. Yeah, for me to play this particular model, I'd have to reduce the loft on it. Yeah. Maybe go different, maybe a heavier golf shaft or something along those lines to try and really kind of bring that down a mm -hmm. little bit. But it would be more of a loft of the club that would get me there. Yeah. yeah. Well, now we can progress to the G410 Plus and see how things change. Here. Okay. I picked up some extra club speed. Sheesh. That's kind of interesting how that one I all of a sudden generated some speed. Really interesting. This is the exact same golf shot. Mm -hmm. I feel like I swung faster. That one I think is great. Just from the, yep, look at that. You said it. Great. That's, uh, just from the way it launched, it hit the direct center of the screen, and I'm yeah. like, okay, that's going to be great. And it's literally on the center line because it didn't even curve, so. Come on, three feet. Close. So that is one yard of curve on that shot, going 317 yards. It's pretty good. I, I wish I could do that. You saw me yesterday. Bet I can't do it again. That's good, too. Noticeable the spin right off the bat, those first three swings kind of dropping down. That one mm -hmm. just under 2,000 in spin. It's very consistent, too. Yeah. A little right. Club face a little open. Yeah. So that's, that's, uh, that's user error right there. But you'll notice how it still stayed under 3,000, where mm -hmm. with the G400 Max, yeah. This highest spin was over 3,000. Yeah, you're kind of the, I guess, miss, so to speak. You know, there's a difference in spin for sure between the two clubs. Yeah, oh, that, that for sure was a miss. That, was a, that wasn't a very good yeah. swing there. <laughs> a lot of curve to the right on that one. First of all, I wanted to get, I want to discuss the turbulators again. Because my recollection, again, G400 is kind of the most prominent um, in terms of looking at the club head and maybe G410, I don't know. What do you think from comparing them? Yeah, you can see more lines as, as I kind of mentioned. So you see these lines from kind of the middle of the club gun pushing back with the, you can see these, you can see more lines with the G400 Max essentially mm -hmm. pushing from the middle of the club face kind of pushing back there. So, yeah. so you can see that kind of that the like dragonfly mm -hmm. uh, crown essentially there too. So you can see more going on. Where this one, so the G410 plus, it's just kind of got these two kind of bars. So it's mm -hmm. less going on on top, which I think I kind of like a little bit better, a little bit cleaner look. And then you also mentioned what it looks like at a parent's looking down at. It looks a little bit smaller. Now they're both 460 cc's, yeah. but the way they're designed, is this one's just a little bit more compact shape yeah. versus the G400 Max, which is pushed back a little bit from the front of the face to the back of the yeah. club. 
Yeah, so I think, you know, the the G400 Max wasn't, I mean, it was a dying, not, I'm not gonna say a max game improvement driver because I think anybody can use higher launch and higher spin, right? It's not just for reserved for maybe moderate swing speeds, but uh, I think the more comparable club for G410 Plus is just the standard G400. Um, so the G410 Plus wasn't designed with that extra max high MOI capability that G400 Max was. Part of that's because the Max here was so good, and I think it actually went in, you know it went into tour players' bags. Mm -hmm. um, it was so successful, and they didn't really need the replacement in G410. And so now they're again they're as we'll get to a G425 Max. They're going to combine both of those together with that high MOI of the G400, and then the kind of a more compact, but then also that, that adjustability is where or as well of the G410. So. Um, but looking at these numbers, I mean, I, you know, I had some extra club speed with the G410 Plus, um, did lower that height and lower that spin by about 300. And then if we expand, we can see that, you know, there's maybe sort of one miss from each club, right? Yep. And I think that's where we notice the difference is that the spin of the G410 Plus was about 300 RPM lower on that miss here with shot nine uh, than the miss here with G400 Max shot two. Yeah, definitely kind of noticed there that yeah, G400 Max spins just a little bit more. Now I want to come back to that efficiency because what really kind of surprised me is how efficient the G400 mm -hmm. Max was. Check out that smash factor number. Yeah. I mean, all five shots were at 1.50. So, and that's pretty, pretty impressive. We'll notice G410 Plus, hey, I didn't quite catch it, maybe kind of perfect there. Um, but because I was able to generate a little bit more club speed, you know, my ball speed numbers were kind of pretty, pretty similar yep. across the board. Um, but you'll notice the efficiency with G400 Max, very, very good. Yeah. yeah that's, mm -hmm. that's exceptionally good there. Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, they're, they offer similar uh, benefits between the two models there. But I think, you know, if you're, the, the adjustability factor in the G410 Plus is something to consider as well. A little bit lower ball flight, um, but then, you know, the G400 Max is going to be, a little bit higher ball flight and probably a little bit more forgiving yep. uh, as well. As you can see, I think by that efficiency rating as well is one thing to note, especially with the Max driver there. I think on average too, the G400 Max just flew straighter. When you take a look at the dispersion, you can see the kind of mm -hmm. the, the white circle closer to the middle, yeah, yeah. where the yellow circle was just maybe kind of pushed just kind of a little bit to the right. Got three yellow dots there were that are that are right of all the shots that I hit with, mm -hmm. with the Max there too. Now I had two great ones, but the forgiveness level on this is exceptionally good. Yeah, it's going a little bit shorter, but it was going straighter. Yeah, so you I mean, gotta kind of just decide, hey, what, what do you want? Do you want distance or do you want right. accuracy? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, the accuracy of the G400 Max certainly shows up in this test here. And even, if we're talking about a, a miss, so to speak, I mean, you're still barely, you know, what, 15 yards off of center. So, you I mean, yep. you're hitting the fairway and all those, so. Uh, but anyway, now we can get to the newest for 2021, the G425 Max. Let's do it. You're welcome. <laughs> kind of interesting on that shot. I felt like, yeah, it might be just a little bit right. Notice how that spin rate stayed down. Because mm -hmm. yeah, generally that's when you see the spin spike a little bit is when you miss it to the right. Maybe the yeah. club face is a little open, as we saw with you know, G410 Plus and G400 Max a couple times there. Yeah, both of them I had that one a little bit to the right and the, they were pushing 3,000 mm -hmm. RPM as well. That one's pretty good. Yes, sir. Wow. That might be the straightest one ever. Yep. Yep. All right, well, now we got five with the G425 Max and well, first, uh, last but not least here, talk about what it looks like at address compared to the previous two, and then we can dive into these numbers a little bit more. Okay, so we first started with like G400 Max. One thing I, I kind of talked about was you can see more lines kind of push from the middle of the face kind of mm -hmm. going back. Then with G410 Plus, I mentioned you got those two pretty evident lines, but not as much kind of going on. And then with G 
425. You can see how it's more bolder, I guess, with the top turbulators right around the, the crown area, the front of the crown. Yeah. So they're, they're more evident, um, but it looks kind of cleaner back towards the, the back of the club head looking okay. down at the dress. So yeah, I'd say, like I said, it's, it's really a combination between two heads. Yeah. Really look, kind of looking down at it. They look very, very, it looks like a combination between those two models. It's there you go. It's kind of exactly what it is. So they're, yep. they're achieving that in every way, not just performance, but also the uh, the looks as well, which is, you know, kudos to Ping on that, I suppose, huh? Yeah, and then just kind of, I'm just kind of looking at the the size, pretty similar with regards to front of the face to the, to the back of the club head as well with G400 Max and G425 Max. Add in the... Uh, G410 plus, yeah, this is definitely a little bit smaller. Okay. More kind of compact head. So G425 yeah. Max kind of reverted back to a little bit larger footprint with, yep. you know, larger than G410 plus. But clearly they've done something to keep that spin rate down. They because have. Because you know it's forgiving, but, because it's, it's larger, but they have done a great job keeping that spin mm -hmm. rate down. As I mean, you can see here, I mean, so G425 Max, first of all, I think the purple circle's probably the best one up there, right? I mean, it very consistent distance. Consistently going further, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you're talking about the same distance around. I know you said you missed one too. That actually, I believe, was maybe that was the one over on the right. The, this yep. one. No, so it there was. was uh, well, this one you said you hit off the toe. Yep. Which kind of, I mean, it dove a little bit on you, but yep. again, it still maintained your distance, right? And then you had, I believe, this one out to the right that you said you left the face open, expected that spin to jump up, mm -hmm. 2094. So that's, uh, I mean, kudos to Ping. Like I said, spin stayed down, and I believe the height. You go over here was also the lowest as well. Yeah, 111. So I mean, they've they've achieved the forgiveness. They've achieved the you know high MOI, but also they've kept spin down, and provided more consistency as well. The distance is up there, and I mean it. Despite a miss hit or two from you, it seemed to perform the best. Yeah. So if you want to kind of take a look and see the differences, can maybe compare the three averages with with them there. Mm -hmm. You can see that kind of interesting with the G410 Plus. How I was swinging quite a bit faster with that one. Yeah. Same golf shaft. Um, I swapped those same golf shafts out, but it's kind of interesting with the G425 Max and the G400 Max. Slightly kind of larger looking profile that I didn't generate as much yeah. club speed with that one. But if you look at the the ball speed, you really didn't lose ball speed. You can yeah. you look at that smash factor with G425 Max and G400 Max. So mm -hmm. there's something to be said about a more forgiving driver. You can kind of mm -hmm. see that right there with regards to the efficiency. Not saying G410 Plus is bad at 1.46. Swing faster, but it makes it a little harder to hit the middle of the club yeah. But just kind of taking a look at the spin, it's kind of really interesting what do we pick up about 300 RPMs less spin versus the G410 Plus, the G425 Max. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, I think that's exactly kind of what Ping was telling us. Right. So it's kind oh, of yeah. around about the two to 300 RPMs less spin than the plus, mm -hmm. so that's pretty accurate. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah, and I mean, again, this is a smaller sample size, right? We have five shots with each club, so it's not, uh, you know, a massive uh, sample size here, but I think, you know, I, I, I'm certainly impressed by the miss hits that you seem to have, right, or that you thought you had, um, and then, I mean, miss hits, we're talking about a shot that was maybe 20 yards off of center to the right, but maintained certainly right at the average spin, and then your other miss was Again, the same, they're all the same distance, which is the, the idea from providing the consistency in the drivers is you don't have to hit the exact center of the face to get that max distance because you had a couple misses and they're right there with the others. Yeah, I mean, I know it's, you said it's a small sample size, but I've done enough testing here early in 2021 to know what I'm seeing here has been pretty accurate across mm -hmm. the board is G425 is forgiving really forgiving, but that spin rate is kind of staying down, mm -hmm. which is kind of the kind of big, big takeaway there is, yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with forgiveness, can't go wrong with the dispersion pattern that I, no. you know, the consistency with regards to those miss hits. Got the one I caught a little bit on the toe, kind of went about the same distance. Got the one that right. face a little bit open on, kind mm -hmm. of went the same distance. And that's when you look at those little numbers. So you look at the consistency numbers there, yep. plus or minus 2.6 total. G410 plus was plus or minus 7.5, and G400 max was plus or minus 11.1. Yeah, so that's the range oh. of kind of consistency there you're yep. seeing. And I mean, look at that. I mean, you want that consistency factor to be small, which shows, you know, how, I guess, repeatable the numbers are. G425 max, 
is the winner there in terms of total distance and also spin as well. It's the lowest number there. So uh, most consistent driver of the day, G425 Max, I think. And then of course, we also mentioned, if you are a golfer, you know, once again, as somebody that want more, you want more height, more carry, higher launch, uh, maybe the Max Forgiving. Um, I think G400 Max would be a serious one to consider there as well. And then of these, I, you said G410 Plus, probably the most compact club head shape. Um, so that's maybe another one too, in terms of what people like to look at at a dress. Yeah, and so keep in mind at second swing, we fit G425 new, but also G410 Plus, G400 Max, we fit also used as well. You noticed I did have some great shots there with the older models per se, but mm -hmm. they do perform really well when you catch it really well. So you just notice the level of forgiveness has definitely just gone up a little bit. You can kind of see that over a trend over oh, the yeah. last few years. But older models still can perform really well. You can mm -hmm. notice there, I think I'm looking at that white dot that probably went the furthest today. So that was the G400 Max. You can see up on the screen there that yes, you can get some really good shots with older technology as well. Yeah, I think what you mentioned, the forgiveness over time changing, that's for sure the case, right? I mean, that's what we're seeing with drivers especially is where you're gonna see the gains is when the ball's not quite hit in the center of the club face is when that spin is gonna stay consistent and your distance will stay more consistent compared to maybe older models. But like you said, uh, and you can see on the maps and the data here, the older models do keep up. So that's one where, you know, people watching this, maybe they have, a, for example, G30 or G25, um, and they wanna trade one of those in for G400 Max. And they probably certainly see some gains there. Maybe someone has a G400 now, they want a G425, they can trade that in as well at second swing. So um, some great options here from Ping over the last now three generations of drivers. Um, G425 Max in this test was uh, the winner here by, by you know, low spin and keeping that height down and providing the most consistent numbers. Yeah, it was very forgiving. As you mentioned, great numbers, definitely numbers that I like to see out of a driver. Um, so yeah, so I hope it helped you enjoy this content. Once again, subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of other great content coming your way in the future.